Hey guys, Tyler with Excel USA here. Today we're sitting in a 2013 Camry, Toyota Camry. I have with me a TY03 key from my nitrous key kit. I also have the original key that we're gonna be using to add this new nitrous key to the vehicle. And we have our Nitro GT with us. So let's get this process started. We're gonna go to special functions, immobilization, hit agree. We're gonna look for Toyota USA, which is here at the bottom, Toyota USA. And uh, we'll go ahead and start by programming the remote portion. So this is gonna be a two-step process on this vehicle. Both processes are gonna re require the programmer, but it's two separate functions. So I'm just gonna switch the, key, the ignition on with the original key. I have my nitrous key in my hand. We're gonna come over to remote. You can do auto identify, or this is gonna be a type two, but I'll go ahead and do auto identify just so you guys can see. You may not necessarily know the, top, the type off the top of your head like me, so this is a good option to use. Just make sure the ignition is on before you do that. I have the original key and the ignition in the on position. And there it goes, auto identified type two, which is the correct type. We're gonna go to program remote. So switch ignition on and open the driver's door. Driver's door is open, ignition's on with the original key. We're gonna hit yes. And now it says press lock and unlock buttons together and then press lock once. So I'm gonna press the lock and unlock together and then press lock once. Vehicle beeps confirm that the remote was programmed successfully and we're good to go. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door and switch the ignition off just so we can test our remote real quick. Let's just switch the ignition off, take the key out. So new key, lock and unlock are working, remote's program. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the key programming portion of this. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the ignition on with the original key again, because we're gonna need that later. Switch it on. We're gonna go back, and this is the main menu. We're gonna go to key instead of remote this time. We're gonna go by vehicle, Camry, non-proximity, proximity being a push to start vehicle. This is a keyed ignition. So we're gonna go 10 to 13, and we're gonna go to add a key. And uh, it says one master key is needed. How do it Identify master key, insert the key into the ignition. The security light does not flash, it is a master key. So, the security light referring to this light right here where it says security, that little car with a padlock, so you can see it's flashing right now. I'm going to insert the original key and it goes out instantly. If it stayed solid for a couple seconds and then went out, then it would be a valet key, but we know this is a master key. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put that key back in, switch it on. And we're gonna hit yes, we have a master key. It says insert program master key and switch ignition on. We've done that, I'm gonna hit yes. It says insert the key you wish to program, do not switch ignition on. So we're just going to take our original key out, we're going to put our new key in, and we're not going to turn it, we're just gonna leave it in the off position, and then we're gonna hit yes. And then it says wait for the security light to turn off, programming is complete. So it's referring to this, it, this process takes about 60 seconds. We're just gonna leave that key in the ignition in the off position and wait until that security light stops flashing. And as soon as it stops flashing, our key is programmed. So we're gonna wait that out. All right, and the security light has stopped flashing, so our key should now be programmed. I'm gonna hit okay on the programmer. I'm going to take the key out, put it back in, Security light's still out, and we're gonna go ahead and try to crank the vehicle. And the car starts right up. So that's the process on programming the remote and the transponder to this vehicle. Thanks guys, have a nice day.